Welcome back, Wayfarers, to another chapter of the book of Stargell, the Dragon of the West. Last time we did a job for Farkas, we went on our first flight on the paraglider, and we ran into a curious individual in a cage in Brittleshin Pass. In this episode, we hope to investigate the rumors of the undead coming back to life in Hilgrin Tomb and extinguish any vile necromancies that we encounter there. As being of the Ragata, the Red Guards, Stargell abhors any necromancy and anything that violates the sanctity of the sacred dead. And that extends even the, to those outside of his immediate family. Although he is able to, you know, combat them more easily than if they were his own kin. And we're also going to try and get to know uh, Zora. <laughs> and Ari a little a little more this episode to see if they're actually a good fit for our little band of heroes. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. And while we're here, we're also going to try getting some work from one of the companions. Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless, firm but not rigid. Y yes, I'm I'm aware. Uh, follow me. Lead the way, my hero. You need to stop calling me that. We are looking for... We already did some jobs for one of the brothers. Let's see if we can't find some of the other companion leaders. Alright. Ah, there's Ayla, the Huntress. Let's see if she has any work for us. I've heard you may actually be stronger than you look. Perhaps we can hunt together someday. I would like that very much. Uh, real quick, tell me, what do you think it means to be a companion? I'd love to hear uh, the differing opinions of the members of the Inner Circle. It means resting your haunches in Whiterun more than I'd care to for one. But when it <laughs> comes time to draw blood... There's no one in Skyrim I'd rather have at my back. It means waking up every day knowing that you could die. And having to earn your life by clawing for every breath. I don't know how those cozy lords manage to drag themselves out of bed every day. Why bother if you're not living? I... I understand where you're coming from. Uh, now I'm looking for work, if you would please. The Jarl of Falkreath has asked for our help. It seems that predators have taken up residence and have been attacking farmers and travelers. Someone's got to head out there and take care of the beasts. Hmm. Okay, wild animals shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, especially with a huntress and a mage, a fire mage, on our team. Consider it done, Ayla. Good. I knew that we could count on you. It's simply a beast, but be cautious. The beasts of Skyrim are made of sterner stuff than most. I have found that to be true. Although we did run into some bears last time and they weren't too difficult. Let's go pick up the rest of the crew. Food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Alright, here's Ari. Yes? Hello, my friend. Please, follow me. Go on. I'll follow. And where's our main man, Lucian? Our dear friend. You're just in time. There's some stew on the fire. Thank you, but I already ate. Uh, Lucian? Where have you gone, my fellow frail fighter? Where is it? That's not him. With answers comes ah. knowledge. <laughs> I didn't recognize you with, with the helmet on. Yes, boss? Ignorance. Let's head out, my friend. Let's get moving. I'll be right behind you. Alright, and while we're here, let's learn a little bit about Bosmeri culture from Ari, and then get a little bit of more information about Zora. Let's see here. Ari. Yes? Hmm, what's on your mind? Whiterun is pretty bare as far as cities go, but it does have a rather welcoming atmosphere, doesn't it? It's been nothing but welcoming since I arrived. Mm. I'd like to ask you about Bosmer culture. Ask away. 
I, I imagine Stargill didn't, I mean, he knew about Redguard culture, obviously ha hailing from Hammerfell, and he learned a bit about Nord culture from his father, but aside from that, he is very, you know, uneducated when it comes to the other ways of life across Tamriel. Oh, you can be hostile. <laughs> oh no. Lapdogs of the Falmore. That's a horrible thing to say. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is a pretty common, you know, thing I'm sure people hear. It's the first thing people probably talk about when they talk about Bosmer. I'm just going to be forward. Uh, not that I judge you if you do it. I just would like to know that so I'm not surprised when we're out there and you... Is it... Is it true that what they say about Bosmer? That you eat your enemies? It is. It's oh. called the Meat Mandate, and it's part of the Green Pact. It dictates that a fallen enemy must be eaten within three days of a battle. Three days? Well, at least there's some leeway there. Okay. Let me ask you one more thing. I will try my best to answer. And feel free to ask me anything about Redguard culture. I will pull up the wiki right away. No, sorry. <clears throat> what is the Green Pact? Okay, hang on. Do you really eat all of your enemies? Like, even Draugr and... You know, what if we kill a skeleton? Do you just... Do you just... Like, the marrow, or...? <laughs> With the amount of murdering you and I do on a daily basis, it gets difficult to honor that particular part of the mandate. But I make an effort to devour at least a part of every foe I slay. Even if it's just the heart or the liver. I can only pray that pleases Ifrey. Ifrey. Last thing, I in this I would genuinely like to know, because I know Ifrey is somehow connected to her scene, I believe. But I, I, I and I, me as like the person I know nothing about Ifrey, Ifrey and how they're like who they are. Are they an Adra, a Daedra, an Elnofe, and you know what 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 is you go ahead yeah sorry <clears throat> so what what is ifri what what are they are they like a deity to you to the bosmer people ifri the storyteller the god of song the forest and the now she taught the birds to sing and gave the rivers their tinkling ethereal tune there is a story about ifri that my mother told me when i was very young when we're somewhere safe perhaps i could tell it to you Oh, I mean, we're... I think we're safe now. Can I get her to relax? Uh, wait here. I'll be right here. And if I just talk to you one more time? You're so noisy in that I... armor. I realize it protects you and all, but could you try not to attract every bandit in Skyrim? It's enchanted to look like cloth, but I guess it's still heavy. Hang Fine. on. Alright. Yes? Mmm... I will try my best to answer. Let's see. Tell me more about Ifri. Ifri, there is a story about Ifri that my mother told me when I was very young. Hmm. I guess when she doesn't want to tell me safe, it right now. Perhaps okay. I could tell it to you. That's fine. Follow me. Go on. I'll follow. And now Zora. Ready to move? We're conducting group interviews. I've already interviewed Lucian the other day. His story's super cool. Mom fought in the Great War. You know, he's in. Uh, I'd like to know more about you. I'm not going to ask you about your scars right now, because we just met, and I think that's too forward. Um, This seems a little... I mean, she's not a girl. She's a woman, you know? Okay, but... Hmm. One of these days, that's a I very large sword. I imagine even I would have trouble wear. with it, and I've studied blades all my life. Where'd you get it? It's not just for show. Although the necromancers seem to think so, nobody takes me seriously. Huh, but when my weapon of choice was an amulet of Mara, then the boys were quite certain of my intentions. Even if that was just for show. Um, amulet of Mara? That means she was, like, available, right? Like, she was... She was... Down to follow, right? Uh, do you have a lot of, a lot of experience with two-handed weapons? I prefer single-armed scimitars uh, for myself, although I've been known to dabble in all sorts of weaponry. Do you have a lot of experience with the two-handed weapons? It took some time to get the hang of it. My body did pay quite a price for my lessons. 
I have more scars than skin now, I'm afraid. Yet you'll find I'm a capable fighter, and if it's adventure you seek, my lord, I am but your humble servant. The fury to your uh. Folger, the Edward to your Barenzaya, the house girl <laughs> to your Jarl. You need to stop. You, 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 need, you, you need to stop. Um, I already have a Lucian. Then you're an actual lord! No. Or a sane, as it were. No. <laughs> here I was half mocking you here, when instead I only mock myself. Nope, not a thane. Not not a lord. Although, although Lord Stargell does have a nice ring to it. My Lord Stargell, how may I be of service? Yeah, I like that. Might be something we work towards. Okay. Um, you know what? Tell you what. I'll, we'll get more personal next time we talk. I think this is enough for a service level kind of thing. Let's go. Right behind you. All right, Lucian, I don't want you thinking any lesser of me. These are just... Yeah, if these... it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Uh, no comments. I'm a bard by trade. Yep, that's great. All heard? right. So, Hilgren's tomb. Undead. Before we head there, I believe it might be smart to equip ourselves properly for fight against the undead. Let's see if... Hmm... None dead usually means necromancy. Let's check the apothecary for some resist magic potions and then the general store for some silver ore or weaponry. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Careful with the fire, guys. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. No, thank you. I have just been to the temple. I am uh, sound of mind and body. Uh, please, what do you have got for sale? Take a look. Alrighty, we got some uh, resist potions, some magic resist potion, and we actually also got... You know, I'll, if we need it, it'll be a fun a surprise. That's everything we need from here. Now let's head out back to Whiterun and go check out the Whiterun merchants. Do come back. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, he only had the one silver ore, which brings us to a total of one silver ore. Let's see if we can't buy some from the weapons merchant, and if not, we might be able to place an order for some. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Looking to protect yourself? It looks like this greatsword's the only thing she can make us. Not my ideal weaponry, as you know, but might have to be our undead slaying thing. All right, 400 gold. Do that. Now if we talk to her again. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. About my order. Hmm. Are my items ready? Nah, I don't think so. So we, we need to give her time. So here's what we're going to do. Let's see if there's a bandit bounty out right now. We can do that to kill Divine time smile, until our order friend. is ready. Some wood for the fires. I'm looking for work. Hopefully something simple like a small bandit camp. Do you have any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Need anything else? Just let oh, me know. Bounty letter. Silent Moon's camp. Uh, that one's bigger than I wanted it to be, but we have a fairly sizable traveling party now, so maybe it's not going to be as bad. We're going to go to sleep over in the in your Vasker and then head out in the morning. Alright, we've slept. We've woken up early in the morning. And it started raining. <laughs> but nevertheless, we embark on our journey to clear Silent Moon's camp. Hopefully, we can do it in a timely fashion and still have time to head over to Hilgren's. But we'll play it by ear. And hopefully by the time we arrive at Silent Moon's camp, the weather will have cleared up a little bit. Also, I forgot to mention, I did level up. I put a point into health. And I increased my one arm and my smithing and slightly increased my marksmanship. 
since uh, instead of the staff, I'll primarily be using the crossbow when it comes to ranged combat. So that's great. Now this... About this... We're gonna be able to get this now with the uh, paraglider, actually. Yes, perfect. So we should be able to... From here. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. This is the tool that I was talking about. Hopefully our companions do the smart thing and don't engage the hostile giants. Well, that answers that. Oh, I got a perk point, actually. Wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. I didn't even realize we're that close. I wonder what is up here. I don't believe... Oh, can I just... Oh, there's a door. Oh, expert locked. I'll try it, but I'm going to cut. No way, no cuts necessary. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. The wine bottle. What was that? Was that Ari? I think Ari hissed. Let's uh, have our weapon out just in case. A bed. An unusable bed, I guess. Nothing over here. I ah, fell. I think that's Zora laughing as she fights the giant. A crazy woman. Oh! Regal Paladin Armor. Now that's something I could get used to. And it is very valuable and better than what we're wearing. So I'm gonna do a quick outfit swap. Oh! Well, I like the fur. Might have to swap off the helmet. Backpack makes it look a little goofy. This is actually great. We have a great launching point. And I am over encumbered. Alright. Let's go. Oh! Do your worst. Where was my... <laughs> I didn't get any paraglider there. Well, whatever. <laughs> I guess we're walking. We should actually be able to see Silent Moon's camp here soon. A lot of lake. A uniquely heavy rapier. Great thruster. We we're just finding all sorts of great stuff. Only 14 damage. Crit to my 20. Let's see how it feels. Hmm. Ash. Let's see what its special attack is. Oh! It takes a lot of mana. Time to die. What are we fighting here, guys? Oh no. Alright. I got to try it. See what I'm going to do. Nope. This is not going to win. Oh no. This is not. No, 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 no. No, no. Alright, we'll have to, uh. Maybe we can leave the giant to the bandits. This is not going to play, not at all. Here we go again. Let's we'll try to lose them. They are very consistent. Oh no. I think we're gonna pin camp. Oh, cripes. No! Okay, I won't lie. I just did an entire other attempt. I don't even remember what the last I. Okay. Alright. 
We're here. We're ready now. We have a plan of attack. Is it possible because Stargirl has had numerous visions of this attack going down and now knows the best effective strategy? Probably. We won't worry about that. Let's start out with some crossbow shots. To draw them out. Should probably switch off silver bolts now that I see that. Here we go yes. again. And if my friends go in, I go in. Well, they seem to have that one under control. Do your worst. No, this is a brawl. My friend. Valiant efforts. All right, onwards. Get the archers. Enough, I I'm here, Lucian. Oh, thank God for the tackle Victory mechanic. Another oh, one. <sighs> this guy is not messing around. Let's try this. This isn't. Oh, is that <sighs> it? Truly ready to die. I'll Gotta heal. Quick. No! Not like oh. this. That was close. Get the archer. Well. I don't think so, friend. There's more up there. Alright, take a second to recompose ourselves. Everybody okay? Lucian, heal up a little bit. We'll loot when everyone's dead. Alright. Okay. Let's move forward again. Over here. Tell you what. I don't, I don't hear that many in here. Running, so I can stab you in the back. A mage. <laughs> nice shot, Ari. Alright. I think we can afford a small reprieve. I'm booking armor forging. This will prove very valuable. To me. <laughs> oh. There's a bear somewhere. There's definitely a bear somewhere. Okay. An enchanted shield. Oh. Might be worth taking a look at. Some notes on this forge. Read that later. More enchanted weaponry. Mm. Another book. Read that right now before I forget. Wrong one. Although we... Okay. Light armor forging. Smithing increased. Awesome. Lunar hatchet. Not really. If they had a lunar sword, that'd be great. Can I... Look at this, please. Game. Damage 15. Okay. We'll come back to this. I don't want to lose focus. Okay, that's the outside infantry dealt with. The leader we came for is still in here somewhere, though. Okay. Lunar Steel Warhammer. While the moons are out, absorbs four points of health. I'm gonna be honest, we don't really go out at night much, so... 
not feeling an overwhelming sense to take that with us. Okay. I doubt any of these guys had any more useful equipment. Oh, I'm very happy I brought you guys with me. Okay. Nice. Oh, I need a drink. Tell me I brought mead. Wine. Not really my kind of drink, but... Ah! I didn't bring mead! Oh, my father is not smiling upon me today. Okay, enclosed environments. I think it'd be best if I only took one of you. So you guys hang out here. Zora. What's on your mind? Something on your mind? You're with me. Lead the way, my hero. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop I'm falling in love with you, goddammit. Let's go in. Okay. And for this environment, I have my handy dandy lantern. Kinda really bright, but. Oh! Found you. Did you now? Ah! Uh, that burns. That really burns. Okay. I need to heal. Come on, Zora, you got it. Nice. Uh, ah, one more. Another battle, another uh. victory for my hero and his faithful charge. Whatever you say. All right. That must have been the bandit leader back there. Another lunar dagger. I wonder if Bellathor would give me a good price for these. I don't think so. Ah, here you are. Your head will be coming with me. Mead! Ah, oh, thank the gods. Shores. Beard. That's better. Oh. What have we here? Inner Sanctum. Some kind of locked Nordic door. Interesting. Let me make note of that. Back there. A shovel? Yeah. No key anywhere here. Let's go loot that one room one more time. Steel gauntlets. They're not worse than what I have, and they certainly look cooler. Ah, damn it. Zora, I need you to carry some things. Ready to move? What you gonna do? Whoa! What two hands are better than one? Where? I'm over encumbered. Let me put something in here first. Hang on, Zora. Hang on, Zora. I gotta put something away. This is the end for you. I'm trying to get behind her. Okay, all right. This isn't gonna work. You tank. Bench of a nut crap. Oops, sorry, Zora. Might have hurt my wrist. No, wait. It was that one's head. Yes. Is that was that joke for me? Because she's super dead. Ah. <sighs> okay. 
That one kind of came out of nowhere. Zora, we're gonna have to sell some things to Bellator. Something on your mind? Hmm. Let's stop and trade some things. Okay, trading things is always fun. <laughs> All right. Right behind you. <sighs> yes. Okay. It seems like we're done here. Just double check one more time. There isn't anything back here worth investigating. Just a regular rock woodcutter's axe. Another locked door. I'm not good at these. I have clunky blacksmith fingers. There we go. And I'm not trusting anything now, so let's go with the weapons out. Some kind of excavation site. Another chest. Some potions. Very useful. Some more mead, always useful. Some magical potions for Lucian. Lucian. A lunar steel club. No swords. Never a sword. An iron sword. Maurus's journal. Check that out in a second. Another painting. Some cheese. Never say no to some bread. Love me some bread. Hagraven feathers. Might fetch a pretty penny on the market. Okay, I think we can put our weapons away for now, although there is this mysteriously locked door. So maybe not. Let's check out this journal. Something about a vault. Might be worth looking into. What have we here? And just closes the door. Let's see where this takes us. Be ready for bandits up top. Hmm. Some raw beef, we could cook that. Absolutely, we could cook that. Oh no, our calcum ingots. Very nice. Oh, no sword. Just an iron sword. Nothing to write home about. Alrighty, and we're out. Hello, friends. The bandit is dead, I have his head right here. I do say that went far better than it could have. Did you guys arrange the corpses? That's nice of you. Yes. Alrighty. Let's go check out those lunar weapons one more time. Okay, that's fine. Yes, I think I'm going to take these actually. Lucian can hang on to them for a little bit. And we'll come back once we know more about this lunar forge. Alright, Lucian. Stop waiting. Come to meet my friends. Still here. Nope, Lucian. What's on your mind? You're looking, you're looking fit, my friend. Now your armor's kind of starting to come together. Let's trade some things, shall we? What a coincidence. I need to trade some things with you, too. All right. That is this bandit ruin cleared. And with still plenty of sunlight. However, I do feel our backpacks are a bit too heavy. Let's head back to Whiterun. Sell some stuff off and see if our order's ready to pick up. What is that? What is that? Whoa. An ogre. And this creature, is it hostile? If it is, we might be better off Getting rid of it. I believe it is. Oh, it's kind of spazzing out. Let's get rid of it. I don't want it attacking any other citizens wandering these plains. Yep. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh! Die, damn you! I don't want to take a direct hit from this thing. There we go. Everything. On to the next battle. Very oh, nice. I used a. Uh, let's get these arrows. I can't get the arrows. I used a tackle there, which is really strong. If you hit block during a power attack, it gives you a window of invulnerability frames. Just for free, which I think is super cool. You guys hear something? No. I thought I heard something. What have we here? A cave? Leading underneath the city. And... Bandits. You might be wondering, how can you tell they're bandits from so far away? When you're in Skyrim long enough, you can always tell. Let's see if we can't get the drop on one. You know, stealth just isn't my thing. Let's go. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I'm sorry. The end. You're outnumbered. Surrender. I saw my light flash before my. I gave him every chance to surrender. Much too short. To think so. Right so close to the city. The Jarl's gonna want to hear about this. Ooh, an iron plate helmet. Oh, no, that's just like the basic one. Okay. Never mind. Doesn't look like they had anything we want. That's fine. I'm more than happy to just get rid of them. An alchemy Alembic. Maybe Lucy can use that. Avar Stone Singer. Hmm. Ooh. Uh. What? This is the second dragon in the jar I found. But from the stories my father told me. This bears the mark of Alduin, the world eater. He who will devour the world. Incredible. <laughs> what kind of magic? It looks so realistic. There's some writing at the bottom of it too. I wonder what it means. There's a... Is that a tiny house? Oh, <laughs> it's a tiny... He's terrorizing a tiny house. Oh, that's just like I'll doing. Hmm. Some say that he's returned. <clears throat> uh, hello there. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm Ari. I suppose you and I will both be looking after our mutual friend from now on, huh? Ah, ha, ha, looking after. Yes, quite. That's <laughs> what I do. I look after people. Definitely not the other way around. <laughs> Worry not, my dear new friend. I've got your back as well. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two getting along. We work well enough as a team in combat, but it's important to get along outside of it as well. Uh, I wish one of you were good at lockpicking. Alright, bear with me. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> hey, I got it. First try. More bandits. More bandits. 
I'm here. on fire. This can't keep happening to me. Bandit mage, bandit mage. Okay, everyone okay? How do I keep getting set on fire? It hurts, I'm in metal armor. Okay, a steel pike. That beats my iron pike. Don't mind if I do. Okay, anyway, let's take that. Paralysis potion might prove skooma. I've heard of this. It's a very destructive drug. Don't touch it, no one drink that. I heard it makes even the most... Why can't I read that note? I see a note there. I want to read it. I see a note right there. There's a note. There's a note right there. Lucian, what does it say? Lucian, read me the note! Okay. Note to Akari. Akari, you can take these prices and eat them. We found our own source of skooma now. The real stuff, not that watered-down third-land trash you've been selling. Don't even think about ratting us out. One word to the guards and I'll make sure they know what that seer of yours is really up to. Seer. Hmm. You might have stumbled onto some kind of drug trafficking ring or something. Should probably inform the guards. I guess I'll never know what that note said. I do know there's a... There is a sky shard. Uh, it really is a lovely day. Clear blue skies. Nice. It's a chilly weather, but not too chilly, you know? And the sky shard. Right outside the confines of Whiterun. Wow. I'll never tire of this land. I do miss home, but... This land is beautiful. Let us go. Oh my, we are on the completely wrong side of town. Can I...? What happens if I do this? Am I gonna break my game? Oh no. This might have been a bad idea. It's okay. We can get, we can get to the city. It's all good. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We made it. Ooh. Gentlemen, I've been looking for you. Whoa. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Craftsman's notice. Ah! Must be a letter from the blacksmith. I forget her name. I'll read it. I'll read it while I'm in front of her. Ah, one moment, Adrian. Craftsman's notice. Greetings, Stargale Sakesh. I am writing to inform you I finished your commission. You can come pick up your order anytime you deem appropriate. Opportune. Always at your service, Adrian Avanici. Wow. Ah, fantastic. I got the notice. Do you have the item I requested? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. About my order. Hmm? Are my items ready? Of course. Fantastic. So you can keep the helmet. The great sword is 1400 gold. That's not what it said. It said 400 gold. You you lied to me. 
I ordered this under false pretenses. Oh. Blade's Edge. <sighs> I just remembered I left my coin purse in your Vasker. I will be right back. I'm just gonna go get that. You hold on to that for now, okay? And I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go get that now. Okay. Preventus, I've killed the bandit. And I could really use, like, a bonus on this because your daughter is bleeding me dry. Where are you? Where is he? Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Another relic here. Well, Mets, do you know Kemat? Oh. I guess he had somewhere to be. Excuse me, Preventus. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Yes, I, I know. I, I do hate it when people keep walking when I'm talking to them. Why do I have two options? Um, regardless, the bandit leader at Silent Moon's camp is taken care of. Here's the head. I'm ready for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. 500 gold. Now we're talking. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. And a level what up. What is it? Nothing. Nothing. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. You know, we made 500 gold. We're going to make some more when we sell the... Spoils of war to Bellathor and maybe the merchant lady herself. We might end up picking up that blade after all, because I do want to head up Hilgrin's tomb. But I think that's going to be enough for this episode. They're really noisy. I'm going to do this somewhere else. Whoa. Oh, I'm devoted to my deity. As a reward for my faith, I've received a powerful boon. Ah, it seems like I've been doing good in the Hunding's eyes. I am honored. What exactly is my boon? Devotee of the Hunding. 26% chance to resist staggers. To resist stagger from attacks and bashes. Based on my favor with the Hunding. Excellent. 20% more damage with curved swords. Excellent. Very nice. And I don't think it gives us like an actual uh, thing we can trigger. But that's okay. The, uh, what was it? 20%? 26% chance to resist stagger? That's very nice. That's very nice. That, combined with our heavy armor, will make us... A bit of a stalwart wall. And I'm here for it. Alright, but I think that's enough for today. And so ends another chapter of the Book of Stargale. A short one. All we got to do was take out Silent Moon's camp. But Stargale takes pride in the fact that knowing that the roads are a little safer. And that there's a little less danger. To fellow wayfarers like himself. Next time, we pick up our sword from the blacksmith and head to Hilgrun's tomb to find out why the dead have risen from their graves and hopefully put a stop to it. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy it. And let me know if you think the followers are too much, because I like all of them a lot, but I also don't want the game to be too easy. So, yeah. Until next time, goodbye.